fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Them great tribe, Kimisabi. Them Cheyenne. We have every right to be proud of them, Tano. Them proud, too. Them ride with great war chief, Iron Hand. That boy, uh, Gray Feather, him chief's nephew. His horse named Wind Spirit. Passed his quarter horse in all Wyoming. And don't forget, Tano. There's another quarter horse named Thunder. He's been meeting all comers and beating them. Look, there he comes now. Thunder, him good looking horse. Do you notice who owns him? Uh, Slim Wiley. No wonder him win every race, him crooked owner. It's been three years since we sent Wiley to prison. Maybe he's changed. Come on, Tonto. Let's move on. Would you like to race that quarter horse? I'll bet you could beat the daylights out of him. Me bet Scout could beat him too. Kimasabi, tell me where quarter horse come from. The town of the quarter horse originated in Texas, my home state. Him bred from a race horse? A thoroughbred stallion crossed with a range mare. Although opinions differ on that point, but there's only one opinion on their speed. Funny him not run fast for more than a quarter mile. As a matter of fact, they can. But the quarter horse isn't bred for racing a long distance. Don't forget, the quarter horse is a ranch horse. Bred for ranch work. Me bet Slim Wiley's quarter horse not do ranch work. Nor Slim Wiley either. Not while him can make dishonest dollar. Tano, aren't you being a little hard on Slim? Him guilty once, Kimasabi. He made a mistake, and he paid for it. Me not like idea of him riding into town for race with Cheyenne Pony. If him do something crooked, him make big trouble between white man and Indian. That's true. Seeing that's the way you feel about it, you better ride into town and keep your eye on Slim. Me go now? Tano, I think you just want to watch a horse race. That only part of it, Kimasabe. Me ride back right after me, take a look around. I'll be waiting for you at the top of the trail. like having a grandstand seat for the race, Dad. Yeah. Here comes the Cheyenne. Sir Allen, my nephew say you are his school teacher, his skamitan. Pahonehe. Pahonehe. It is wise you speak the word of friend in the red man's tongue. I'll always be a friend of your people, Iron Hand. Good luck in the race, Gray Feather. <laughs> Hazel. Oh, Mark, I'm so glad you're here. I just told Dad about us, and he's taking now, it very now, hard. Now, now, kitten, let's not go into that again. I'm afraid I know what your father thinks of me. No hard feelings, Professor. I knew that she was going to take the big jump someday, but I'd always hoped You'd that... hoped you'd be a man and not just a school teacher, is that it? Well, as long as you put it that way, let it stand. I'm sorry you feel that way, sir. And so am I, Dad. And now I'll tell you what I always hoped. I always hoped I wouldn't have to make a choice between you and the man I was going to marry. Come on, Mark, I want to show you off to my friend. Take it so hard, Major. She's all I've got, Ed. I had always hoped that yeah, she... Yeah, I know. All of a sudden, she changed her mind. If it's a woman's privilege, maybe she will again. Maybe she will. Real good-looking horse you got there for an engine pony. If you think you can beat this mare of mine, maybe I better place a little bet on it. That is, unless you're scared of losing. Shine fears nothing. Spoken like a noble chief. Me? 
I got $500 to do my talking for me. Shine will match white man's money with gold. Scummitan. Scummitan will hold the Shine's money. And for you. Ain't you gonna count the engine the gold, too? I don't have to. Iron Hand's word is good. I better take this back up to the hotel room. Horses to the starting line. Horses to the starting line. Horses ready. Riders ready. in being the stakeholder. Indians are very good judges of character. Better than you, Dad? If I had been wrong about him, I'll admit it. But if not, I don't think that... Where's Scummington? We're shying money. He'll be right out, Chief. Shine been waiting a long time for Scummington. I can't understand what's keeping him, Chief. Dad, don't you think we'd better find out? Him? Well, I'm not very sure. Maybe he was an Indian, a thieving Cheyenne. No, he was a white man. He was tall, heavy set. He wore a black coat. He must have come in that side window from the alley. And, and he came up behind me when I went to the bureau. I saw him in the mirror. Did he wear a mask? Yeah, he had a bandana up to his eyes. And he carried a gun, a big one. A little gun would scare you. What'd he say? Well, he said, give me the money. And you gave it to him just like that? No, for a moment I thought of calling out. Then he pulled the hammer back. And it clicked. They always click. Yeah. So then you decided not to call his bluff, huh? He wasn't bluffing. What else can you call it? You knew he wouldn't fire his gun with all of us out there on the porch and a whole town full of armed men. He wouldn't have got out of here alive. He knew it. Why didn't you? Let him alone, both of you. Hasn't he been hurt enough? I guess I wasn't thinking very fast. Takes a lot more than quick thinking in this neck of the woods. Hey, Major Holiday? Well, it takes a lot of spunk to act after you think. Spunk? He didn't come out west to fight bad men. He came to educate the Indians. You know that, Chief. It's not a matter of east to west. It's a matter of boy or man. He's right, Hazel. No, Mark, no. After you so obligingly handed over the money to him, then what happened? Then he told me to turn around, and then he hit me with his gun. He hit you with the gun. You catch thief who steal Shine's money? You stay off my back, engine. I got enough trouble as it is. You marshal. Trouble is your business. But who do you think you are to tell me what my business is? I am Iron Hand, chief of the Cheyennes. You're chief of nothing. Save that for the reservation. Around here, you're just another redskin. So don't tell me what my business is. Easy, Ed. All right, Engine, what'd you lose? Cheyenne win. $500. Could have been bees, huh? Anybody counted? I mean a white man's count, not an engine's. Nobody doubt Iron Hand's words. I can doubt it. I'm the law around here. Your law is just for the white man, not for Indians. It's just what I say it is. Now, get moving. Shine want their money. You'll get your money if and when it turns up, not sooner or not later. You just remember that. I will remember. Shine will remember. And don't you go threatening me. Get out of here before I throw you out. Come on! Wait a minute, Chief. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nerve of that engine. Well, he's only asking what's doing. I know, I know, Major. But I can't expect to shake everybody down here in town. Besides, I didn't lose his money for him. You're right, it's my fault. If I'd stood up to that bandit, none of this would have happened. It's all right, Mark. Big trouble in town. 
Carl came with me. Miss Camatan. The school teacher. Ah, uh, Mark Allen. Hit very bad. Better tell me about it. That's the story. Mark Allen is in trouble. There's Camatan now, Kimisabe. Girl right after him. A man running away is not a pretty sight. I don't want them to see us, Tom. Let's take cover in that brush corral. shouldn't have followed me. I'll always follow you. Not worth it. I didn't have the courage to keep from being robbed or to stay and face the town. There's still time. You can go back. It's no use. I can't. All right, Mark. Then let's go on, wherever you say. You mean you go with me? I've made my choice, Mark. Scared boy or grown man, it's you. Hold it. The both of you. You're too late. Another masked man has already robbed me. This mask is on the side of the lawn, always will be. He must have me want to help you out of trouble, Scamatan. What do you know about his troubles? And what business is it of yours? We know because trouble's our business. Mark is in trouble. We'd like to help him. You know, Mark, I think he means it. What difference can it make? It's too late now. It's never too late, Mark. What happened to you happens to every man at least once in his life. Your manhood is challenged. You either face that challenge or you run away from it. What can I do? I can't replace the money I lost. How can I face the Cheyenne that trusted me? I've already failed, can't you see? Him see something you don't. Him see you. You're only a failure if you admit it. A man can go down. But if he goes down fighting, he's a success. At least he's tried. He's right, Mark. You know he is. All I know is I always want you to look at me just the way you're looking at me now. And I'll fight for that. Come on. Let's go back. Oh, Mark. We'll face them all. Not just the Indians, but your father, Marshal McGuire, everyone who ever tried to come between us. I thought I couldn't, but now thanks to you, I can. I'll never forget you for this. Never. Tano, I think we'd better take the back road into town. Why we do that, Kimisami? There's a good chance we might run into Slim Wiley. Hold it, Wiley. Get off your horse. This has got to be it. This has got to be the unluckiest day of my whole life. First, an engine pony beats me in a race, then I drop $500. Now I got to bump into you. I heard about the $500. What I want to know is that you steal it back along with the Cheyenne's gold. I never touched that money. I'm clean. You must have me not take your word for that. You get no right to do this to me, mister. You got me figured all wrong. Stolen money, not hunting, Kimisabi. Check his saddlebags, Tyler. He won't find nothing. If you're so innocent, why are you running away? Because they might try to pin this robbery on me. Besides, I've been around this engine country long enough to be able to savvy a danger sign. What danger sign? A big war chief like Iron Hand, pushed around and threatened by a white man. A white man? Marshal McGuire. He not only insulted the chief, he acted like he couldn't be bothered about the missing money. That's odd for a law, man. Maybe he didn't mean it. But them Cheyenne are sure out in the warpath. Iron Hand and his braves lit out of here to go back and get their guns. They're coming back now to wipe out McGuire's insults. That could mean wiping out the whole town. You not have money stolen from Scamatan, Kimisami. He search every place. Yeah, I told you so. Now can I go? Yes. I apologize. Good luck. Must be some connection between that holdup and Marshal McGuire. Might be covering up his own guilt. But him get good salary as lawman, Kimisabe. Him not need to steal. Well, money isn't the only motive. There's love, jealousy, revenge. I think I've got it. Didn't Mark say that McGuire tried to come between him and Miss Halliday? Him say that, me remember. I think we'd better move fast before the Cheyennes will do something they'll always regret. Let's go. <laughs> Come, this ought to hold him back for a spell. 
What are you doing back in town? I thought you ran away. I came back. I want a gun. Guns are for men. Get back with the women folk where you belong, schoolma'am. Never mind that. We'll be needing every finger that can pull a trigger. Not yours. Did you cause enough trouble around here letting yourself get robbed of the Indians' money? You started Iron Hand on the warpath, treating them like dirt. Now give me a gun. That's your gun. Mark! Oh, Mark! Dad, help me get into the hotel, please. Easy, boy. Easy here. Come on, let's go. Do that, Marshal. I'm here to help. Help? Then why are you wearing a mask? You'll find out soon enough. Where's Mark Allen? Where do you expect to find a school marm? He's over at the hotel with the rest of the women. It's holiday. I must ask you a very personal question. You must answer it frankly if you want to avoid a massacre here. Was Marshal McGuire ever jealous of you and Mark? Yes, he was. He thought we were engaged. He was very bitter when I showed my preference for Mark. That's all I want to know. All right, men, check your gun, see if they're loaded, make every shot count. All right, masked man, it's time you told me who you are. I'm here to tell you what you are. The scrapes of that badge and the people you represent. A lawman who robbed a tenderfoot of the money he held in trust. Just so you could ruin his future with the Indian service and his marriage to the girl you wanted. You take that back or I'll kill you. I take nothing back, that's the truth. Go ahead if you think you can outdraw me. Oh no, I'm not matching shots with any outlaw gunslinger. Now let's see who you are. Follow your orders, Kimatabi. Watch from top of hill. Cheyenne war party coming. Them have many guns. You heard that, McGuire? Now, what are you going to do about it? You going to pay off Iron Hand and save your town? Now, where's the money you stole from Mark Allen? <laughs> Speak up. I put in his own saddlebags. My saddlebag? Why'd you do it, Ed? I couldn't stand a tender for beating my time. A school teacher. I thought you were a man. I was wrong, Kim. All wrong. Thank you. Thank you so much. You did help us after all. He couldn't have done it if he hadn't come back to face up to his own problems. Mark, where is he? I told you he was a coward. He was too yellow to stay away for that Indian war party. Me see him leave, Kimasabe. Him ride toward pass where Cheyenne are. Well, then he's not running away. He's going out to meet them and give them the money. Him try to save town. He's riding to his death. No, he's riding to his manhood. But the money alone won't satisfy Iron Hand now. He intends to wipe out a bigger debt. A debt of honor. An insult to himself and his tribe. That's your responsibility. And I'm going to see that you apologize to Iron Hand before it's too late. No, they'll kill me. You've got no choice, McGuire. Tano, get his horse. Here is the stolen money, Iron Hand. Take it and go back. Too late for money to buy mercy. Out of my way. I am a friend of your people, Iron Hand. I can't let you start a war that'll destroy your tribe. Skamitan, don't make me take your life. 
Get out of my way. No, I won't let you pass. Get out of my... Last man, we have met before. In peace. And we meet again in peace. Iron Hand has no need to make war. The money debt is paid. And now for the larger debt. McGuire, get down and apologize. Now. And that's what happened, and I'm, and I'm sorry. Capitan, Bahanehe. Bahanehe. You were a boy in town. Now you face Iron Hand like brave warrior. What changed you? The masked man. Where is he? Gone. And he never told us who he was. He is a friend of the red man and the white. Indians call him Himosabi. White man call him Lone Ranger. Are you silver? 